What's up, sophomores? So glad to have you guys here, and we're hoping you guys are having a phenomenal start to the school year. It's going to be great. Let's go see the counselors. To see a counselor, visit the guidance office during lunch. Mrs. Stevenson, our counseling secretary, will be the first person to meet you and can help directly direct you to see your counselor or answer any basic questions. Counselors are arranged alphabetically by last name, but in most cases, any counselor can assist you or answer your questions. Hello, my name is Emily Stevenson, Guidance Secretary. Hi, I'm Jeremy Troche, counselor for students with last names A through C-H-A-T. Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Vogel and I have students last name C-H-A-U to G-O-N. Hi everyone, my name is Nikki Mitchell. I'm counselor for students with the last names G-O-O -O through L-E. Hi, I'm Mrs. Cizik, and I work with students' last names, L-I through O-N. I hope you all have a great school year, and go Pack! Welcome to the 2024 school year. I'm Mr. Anderson, guidance counselor for students with the last names O-O through S-I. Hi, my name is Ms. Hebert, and I am um, the sixth counselor on the counseling team, and my alpha is S-J through Z. Hi, I'm Julianne Ceccarelli, Support Counselor at Claremont High School. Hey sophomores, I'm Corey. And I'm Bella. And we're here to give you some tips and tricks to help you succeed in your sophomore year. We are current juniors right now, and some things that we recommend is first getting really involved in school, like going to clubs and like after school events can be really fun and like a way to like meet new people. We also recommend going to sports games and rallies and all the events that ASB has to offer. ASB works really hard and they're really fun events that you should go to. Like the dances. And like the dances. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> lastly, we recommend going to your teachers for help because they are there to help you and support you after school, during lunch. Even though we don't have office hours anymore, there's still other ways to go and be supported by your teachers. We have tutoring, so ask for help anytime you need it. You can ask any of your counselors, any of your teachers, any staff, any students, and they are there to help you. Have a great year, sophomores. Bye. Hello, class of 2026. Many of you are wondering what to expect from your sophomore year. Academically, you're probably going to be challenged more than you ever have before. Socially, you'll probably have more freedom to get involved in school clubs, extracurricular activities, and attend school events. Both of these may bring about challenges for you some things to help you out during these times. Get organized, use your planner, use an agenda, make sure you're managing your time wisely. Set goals, long-term and short-term goals. Connect socially, be yourself and be friendly. And lastly, ask for help when needed. You're not expected to do this alone. Hi sophomores, a couple of quick things that we'd love for you to do for us. Go ahead and sign up for our Counselor Remind if you haven't already done so. Literally, get your phones out right now. Start typing this in. It's going to be at CHS Grad 26 to 81010. Again, with your phones out right now, at CHS Grad 26 to 81010. I promise we only give you guys good information on there. We won't spam you with information, but we want to make sure that you guys all have that info at your fingertips. Another thing that you can start signing up for is the PSAT, um, and that will be the same day as Career Day to kind of get ahead of it if you want to. Um, and so you've taken it once before you take it in 11th grade. Here's a question for you. Why is it important to get involved? Well, studies have shown that students who participate in extracurricular activities have higher grades, more positive attitudes towards school, and higher academic aspirations for themselves. So counter to what you might think, being involved can actually help you to be a stronger and healthier student overall. Involvement in extracurricular activities allows you to discover your likes, dislikes, aptitudes, and potential career pathways. So when you are joining clubs at club day or staying involved in those clubs, when you are balancing a job, when you are doing leadership activities, whether it's in school or outside of school, those things are actually helping you to make you a well-rounded individual and to give you some insight as far as what you might want to pursue after you graduate from high school. Keep in mind that colleges, both four-year and two-year colleges, appreciate well-rounded individuals who bring more than their grade point average to the campus. 
involvement in activities shows how you can contribute to that campus. So again, schools are looking for people who are involved in leadership, musicians, thespians. They're looking for athletes. They're looking for comedians. They're looking for all parts of a fabric that's gonna make that school a really special place to be. But we want you to be yourself here and we want you to get involved in all the ways that you can that are healthy and productive for you to be a well-rounded individual. Engagement in extracurricular activities and outside interests provide the very critical balance that's needed to become and remain a healthy individual. And we'll talk more about balance as we move forward. Hello, Claremont High School. I wanna take a few minutes to talk about some tutoring opportunities. But before we jump in, I wanna talk about your greatest resource, your teachers. Many of your teachers are available before school, at lunchtime, and or after school. Please check with your teachers for their availability. Now let's jump into some other tutoring resources. First, we have the Claremont High School tutoring in the CHS library. We offer tutoring in all subject areas, and we offer it on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 to 4.30, and on Fridays from 2.30 to 4. If you're looking for an online option, we have BrainFuse. They tutor in all subject areas, and you can find more information at brainfuse.com. They offer tutoring seven days a week. You can also scan the QR code for more details. Next, we have the Harvey Mudd Homework Hotline. They offer tutoring only in math and science. You can find more information at hmc.edu. They offer tutoring Monday through Thursday in the evenings from 6 to 9 p.m. Please scan the QR code for more information. And lastly, we have Khan Academy. They offer tutoring in math, history, physics, chemistry, biology, economics, music, computer science. You can find more information at khanacademy.org. They offer tutoring seven days a week. Please use the QR code for more information. Thank you and go pack. Another really important question to ask yourself is this, why is finding balance and organization so important? Because it really truly is. It's hard to meet any of your academic, career, athletic, or other personal goals without your best physical and mental health. Balance is the key to maintaining health. Managing stress is a life skill that you've been learning and continuing to learn. High school is providing you many opportunities for growth in this area as you juggle various demands and responsibilities. Prioritization is the key as you do that juggle. So here at Claremont High School, especially in your senior year, we want you to create lists of things that you need and want to do. Use that list to help you calendar where you will fit both your work and your play. And just because you can do something doesn't always mean that you should. So what I mean is with a growing number of academic opportunities at your disposal, it's really important for you to prioritize that which is most important for your overall goals and overall wellness. That might not look the same between siblings, between people in your friend group, but you've got to do what's best for you in terms of maintaining that balance of pushing yourself enough, but not too, too much in which your health or your mental health becomes at risk. Using an agenda is an excellent way to keep track of your school and personal responsibilities. You'll hear us talking about that a lot. If you prefer less paper, there are electronic calendars that you can download and that you can use that will do the same function. Here at Claremont High School, as you know, we give you a student planner during registration. And the reason we give you this is because we intend for you to have a way, whether it's that particular agenda or one that you choose on your own, to organize your time and responsibilities and plan ahead. That means if you know something is coming up, whether it's an activity, a project, put it down in your calendar so that you can troubleshoot and know when things are gonna pile up and when you really need to maintain a certain amount of balance in getting things done. Sleep exercise, proper foods, and sufficient water intake are all key components to maintaining health and balance in the life of a busy student. These things will only happen if you make time and space to carve it out into your schedule. High school is equal parts academic and social growth. So please take part in the many wonderful activities that this time of your life is intended to explore, such as sporting events, 
dances, student musical and theatrical performances. The adults on campus want to see you thrive in healthy ways so that you can be happy, balanced, healthy, and confident young adults once you leave Claremont High School. Hello, PAC. Coming up on Wednesday, October 11th, we have PSAT and Career Day. As counselors were often asked, should I take the PSAT? And it really varies by grade level. As freshmen, while you can take it, most experts don't recommend it. One, you have not learned the material yet that will be covered on the PSAT exam. Secondly, we also want to avoid test burnout. Now, as sophomores, while you can't qualify for the National Merit Scholarship Program, you can gain valuable experience to prepare for your junior year when you can qualify for the scholarship program. For juniors, we highly recommend taking the PSAT. The test provides a taste of what it's like to take the actual SAT. The PSAT helps students uh, identify their strengths and create an SAT study plan. And when students take the PSAT in junior year, they can qualify for scholarships, including the highly selective National Merit Scholarship Program. If you'd like to register for the PSAT, please check your email as the link has been sent out to all. The deadline to register is Sunday, October 1st. Don't wait, sign up today. Now let's talk about career day. All of you should have completed your career day survey last week in Homeroom. If you did not complete the survey, or if you wish to make a change, please see Mrs. Miller in the Career Center by this Friday, September 15th. I also wanna talk about another opportunity on Career Day, the ASVAB. The ASVAB stands for Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. It's the most widely used aptitude battery test in the world. It's not just for students who are interested in joining the military, but rather if the test actually measures your academic strengths, your weaknesses, and potential future success. So if you are interested in taking the ASVAB test during career day, please see Mrs. Miller in the Career Center. Thanks and have a great day.